Hey guys, this is Margaret Lange, created the Tapping into Wealth Coach Training Program and all of the four videos that are coming out, uh, let's see, the third one came out today over this two week period to really give you a deeper base of training and my best techniques and how you can be a coach living your passion and actually making money and you know what, having clients really get it and really thank you for it and, and never forget what you've done for them. That's the most rewarding feeling as a coach because I know when I started, it was hard for me to get people to convince, for me to convince them that I could work with them, I could do good work, and when they did work with me, sometimes they weren't sure how great my results were. And so I needed to have a system, both of attracting clients so that they came to me and wanted to hire me, but also of doing the session work. And that's exactly what video three is about today. We've had almost a thousand comments on this video just in a day. It's been absolutely amazing. And actually my team is telling me that the videos are going away on Wednesday night. So today is Monday. You have only a couple more days to watch these three part of the video series. So you want to check that out because what video three really goes through is the results and commitment com approach and the comprehensive handout that you get with it is the four step process, the approach to the tapping into well session work. And it is basically a framework, right? That you can use and apply to whatever coaching you do. And you can use this to fill in spots where you're missing things, right? And so this handout gives you a quick overview and then goes into it detail, 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 step by step, how the four step approach works. And the, step, the four steps are actually broken into two major phases. So the first stage or phase is the first two steps are called clear the past and the first step is called uncover and diagnose right and this is one of the mistakes that so many coaches make that i made by leading with our modality and trying to help first and then hope it would work using the help and hope method when we uncover and diagnose first we know exactly what we're going to do for many many sessions right so this is a very powerful part of the work Step two is then clearing the hidden blocks. This is, um, this is a, an, a concept in coaching and transformational coaching that's time has come. The days of just giving someone accountability and guidance and hopeful inspiration are gone. We have to do more for people. We really have to help them not only uncover and see what their blocks are so that we can diagnose them and they can say, yes, you are correct, that is resonating with me. We have to help them clear those blocks. We can't just tell them they have mindset blocks. We have to give them a way, a tool to clear the blocks. Huge important part. But then we move into phase two of the coaching because you wanna be able to work with someone for months to really give them a transformation from where they are now to a place that is absolutely miraculous. And so in the second phase, we have two more steps. Step three is, unleash inner power. So once we start to clear away people's blocks, in my philosophy, we then can do even more. We don't have to just leave them at medium where it's like, wow, I don't feel that block anymore. When they wanna reach their goals or maybe set even bigger goals, we have to start helping them create that future by actually pushing them to set some awesome goals and showing them the pathway to uncover more of their own energy, their enthusiasm, their courage. And we can absolutely do this using the same techniques that we use around clearing blocks, but by adding more to those tools so that more energy is coming up through the system and the person steps out into the world, a more courageous, inspired, enthusiastic version of them. It is awesome when you can do that for your clients. Okay, but the fourth step is also important, right? In this four-step approach to coaching, the fourth step is inspire and support. Because when you're helping someone create the future, right? So phase one is clear the past. Phase two is create the future. Not only do you want to help them unleash their inner power, which sometimes involves going back and clearing blocks that you might find along the way, you also want to inspire them to what is possible and you want to give them support along the way. Because say someone feels fantastic after working with you and suddenly they are able to get up and give a talk and they've never been able to do that before because they had too much anxiety. Well now, they may set their sights on a bigger stage. They might say, I just got an opportunity to be on cable TV or I'm gonna step on a stage at a bigger event or I'm getting interviewed somewhere and now they may need to actually have that support with you from you to move to that next phase. When your clients are doing this kind of work with you, they are moving forward, they are taking steps, and they need your continual inspiration and support. And that's what creates 
a system, a whole package of coaching that last three months or four months or six months. And that's how my coaches are actually able to really have clients who commit for the long term and make money. Something that took me years of struggling as a coach, years of one by one clients, years of trying to find a new client every week um, to figure out, right? I wish I had this system and I wish I had had this way. I would have earned so much more quickly and I would have been so much more satisfied as a coach in my ability to help people. So this handout is here for you. You get it from watching the video. Um, the instructions are there at the video on how to get that handout. If you have any problems or questions, just email us at support at and we'll make sure that you get this handout. This is even the printer friendly version, so it saves more ink. Um, okay, but there is one thing that as we get into this handout, before it goes into the detail of how to do this four step process, which is really about peeling the onion, right? Peeling the onion through the uncover and diagnose and then clearing blocks and then bringing up energy and then inspiring and support. I give you a very specific walkthrough of that whole process. But before I do that, I say, but first, a note on being strategic. And this is super, super important because when you miss this question, it will cost you thousands of dollars in unearned income. When you listen to what I'm gonna tell you and you become strategic, you start thinking strategically, you start thinking of yourself as someone who's like, yes, I'm going to think strategically. This it will instead make you thousands of dollars because what you have to be strategic about is solving problems for people that they find urgent and expensive and painful. And so we need to find a way, this is where I talk about, there's this gap in communication from what you do, what the modality you've learned or the approach. We need to cl um, close that communication gap with your clients so that they understand that you can take whatever it is you do, whatever your passion is, your modalities, your mindset approach, your healing, and you can translate that language so that they can see that you can solve for them urgent, expensive, painful problems. And if that isn't part of what you do, then what I'm offering you is a way to use money and money blocks to start the conversation and show people that, the, that there are urgent, expensive, painful problems. So money is actually a really good example of using a issue strategically that is often got all sorts of the same roots of the things that you are already ready to work with, right? All the blocks that you can already clear, all the healing work you can already bring, will have its same roots underneath a manifestation of a problem like money, for example, money issues, that actually will feel to your client urgent and expensive and painful, not just something like, well, that sounds kind of interesting and that sounds kind of cool, maybe I would experience that once or twice, right? And so you need to be strategic about the way you speak to your clients and what kinds of problems that you can solve. And it doesn't mean that um, you can't use modalities that have a more subtle impact impact, more energy modalities that sometimes solve more subtle problems over time, you can absolutely still use those. And all of my coaches and myself incorporate all sorts of modalities into our sessions. However, we make sure we lead by solving problems that people do find urgent, expensive, and painful, because those are the clients that are compelled to actually say, you know what? I need to solve this problem and I need to spend some money to do that because it is urgent and it is expensive and it is painful for me. And if I don't change it, if I don't shift this problem, it's going to continue to be urgent and expensive and painful. That is what you call a highly motivated client who's not only motivated, I mean, to just like pay you for your coaching, but I mean, they will be motivated in a session with you to hear what you have to say, to listen to what you have to give them, and to actually take action on what you're telling them to do. They won't be a client who's just there to see if this is cool or not. They're gonna be a client who's like, what you're telling me, I am going to do because I totally see that I wanna solve this problem and I don't want it to continue. So it's actually part of your job as the coach to not only I know it's not fair to not only be an expert in your modality and what you do and your healing approach, 
but to also be able to use your words in a strategic way to translate that and attract clients who want to have their problem solved. And it's all here in this handout. I go into it in great detail. I talk about it in the video as well, but I know it's great to kind of read something through and get it reinforced. So check it out. I'm coming to you actually right now. Sorry about the lighting and the location. I'm in my hotel room in San Diego for a mastermind meeting, right in the middle of these videos being out, but I wanted to just take a few minutes and make sure you saw what was happening in this video um, and what's blowing up on the internet and make sure you get this awesome handout. Um, now there's another thing that's coming out. I am going to be doing a live training on Wednesday night, a webinar that has all to do with confidence. This is all about healing your confidence issues and it's an incredible confidence process I've put together because so many coaches and healers have told me I struggle with confidence, Margaret. Uh, we may not have even announced that yet, but make sure you go to Margaret at margaretmlynch.com. I mean, website margaretmlynch.com and you can opt in there if you're not on my email list that's how you'll find out about it but we will put the links here too on facebook i would imagine so you can be involved in that webinar that is on wednesday night so if, if it hasn't been announced yet Sorry guys, I just let the cat out of the bag, but that's coming also for you too. Very different from the skills that are in these videos in the um, handouts because the webinar is really about transforming you and your confidence. It's very different than just giving you more skills to work with your clients, so I hope I see you there too. So this is Margaret Lange. I gotta get going to the reception and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.